All right, so this is example two from the elemental analysis topic. I'll work through this one a little bit more quickly. Uh, example one is going to be a uh, more in-depth explanation. So in this case, we have three elements in our unknown compound, uh, this sample. We call it compound X. I've, I've done elemental analysis. I know that carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen are present, and I know the percentage uh, of each of these uh, elements by mass in this unknown sample. So I'm going to give myself more room this time. All right. So the percent by mass of carbon in this unknown sample is 62.0% of all of the carbon in this unknown uh, of all of the mass in this unknown sa sample is from the carbon. 10.4% uh, of the mass of the sample is from the hydrogen. And 27.5% of the total mass in the sample is from the oxygen. Now, this should total something somewhere very close to 100%. Now, if we don't get 100%, like we don't in this case, we get 99.9%. Well, that's just from error in the uh, determination of these mass percentages. So our first step, we go from percent mass to grams by assuming that we have 100 grams of sample. So by assuming I have 100 grams of sample, since a percent is out of 100, if I have 100 grams of sample and 62% of it is carbon um, by mass, then I'd have 62 grams of carbon. If 10.4% of the mass of the sample is from the hydrogen and I have 100 grams of sample, then 10.4 uh, grams of hydrogen is what I'll have. And for oxygen, the same, 27.5 grams of oxygen. Now, we're going to convert from grams to moles of each substance using molar mass. 12.011 grams of carbon and one mole of carbon. 1.0079 grams of hydrogen and one mole of hydrogen. 16 grams of oxygen and one mole of oxygen. Notice... I did not use O2 or H2 here. Even though those elements are diatomic, these, this, in this case, we have oxygen and hydrogen in a compound, not as a pure substance, a pure element, but in a compound. So I have mole amounts now. Let's see. Uh, 62 divided by 12.011 gives me 5.162 moles of carbon in this 100 grams of sample. 10.4 divided by 1.0079 gives me 10.318 moles of hydrogen in this 100 gram sample. And 27.5 divided by 16 gives me 1.719 moles of oxygen in this 100 gram sample. Next step, we get our mole ratios uh, by finding the smallest mole amount, dividing by the smallest mole amount. So let's scan our mole amounts here. In 100 grams of sample, I have this many moles of this, this many moles of this, this many moles of this. If I find the smallest mole amount, which appears to be oxygen, and divide everything by that smallest mole amount, I will set the mole ratio for oxygen to one, meaning oxygen is present in the smallest amount. So in the chemical formula, oxygen is going to have the subscript of one. Every other element will have a subscript equal to one or greater than one. That's the purpose of finding the smallest mole amount and dividing by it. So 10.318 divided by 1.719 this is equal to 6.00. 5.162 divided by 1.719 is equal to 3.00. These mole ratios are always going to be very, very, very close to one number. And in this case, they're very close to three. Okay. So because they're all whole numbers, I have my empirical formula. C3. H6O. Oh, 